him. I want to watch the news. Are you making are you making headway at least? This is the news. Smack a gob, everybody. It is time. For the only news that matters. And recently, Wolfgang Van Halen took part of the Amoeba Music What's in Your Bag. You know, I love that segment. Have you all seen that? That segment of What's in Your Bag? And you know, you have to wonder though. I mean, I do. When I watch these episodes and I see these guys pull out these albums and they're like, oh yeah, this. And I'm thinking to myself, you own this album already. I don't know. You're not buying it. I mean, I'm sure they're buying some of them, but you know, there's a lot of them that, eh, but this one, I think uh, Wolfgang does buy it because the album's because he's a big fan of Meshuggah and he bought all these, oh, I already own this album, but I'm buying this because it's, uh, you know, different colors and this and that. And he also bought the Van Hagar or Vangina, the studio albums, you know, the, the, that box set that came out, the 5LP box set with you know, has some studio rarities, and he discusses the set, and he touches upon the whole Sammy Hagar versus Daily Roth debate, and sh- shares his thoughts. He says, not to delve into the exhausting argument of which singer is better. I'm kind of a, the kind of in the mind where there's positives in everything, and if you hate one side or the other, it's like, hey. The same guy wrote this stuff. You can really find stuff to appreciate. And I really appreciate the melodic addition that Hammy added to the band with his music. And uh, I think it allowed my dad to explore a more melodic style of songwriting. And there's great stuff on there. All right. Well, Well, good for Wolfie. Like I said, everybody out there. If you're a Sammy fan, if you're a Vangina fan, I got no problem with your opinion, you know? Uh, I don't have to agree with it, and I think that goes for everybody out there. Wolfie likes, you know, the Sammy era, but, you know, I have a sneaky suspicion. If you were to, like, put a gun to his head, which one you like more? I think he would go with the Dave era. I mean, after all, he's the one that talked his dad into bringing Dave back, and that became a huge success. Way bigger tours than they ever did with Sammy Hagar, which is another example of Sammy saying he was bigger than Van Halen with Dave, uh, but, you know, not only did they sell more records, but, you know, they had bigger tours. But, whatever. He likes Vangina. Good for him, you know? I don't, you know? And... Yes, he's 100% right. It made his dad, you know, explore other, you know, musical ventures. And, and it just does nothing for me. If When I listen to the six-pack, I don't hear any of that Sammy stuff. No, I don't hear it in I'll Wait or Jump. The keyboard song, I don't hear it in that either. It's just like there's no, I don't know, it's no attitude. It's very, yeah... I don't know, man. It's like Diet Van Halen, really. You know, it sucks. But Wolfie likes it. And he also likes Meshuggah, which is another band I can never get into. Back in the early 2000s or late 90s when they first burst on the scene, all my friends were into them. And I would listen to it and I was like, ah, it does nothing for me. And he also, on that segment, talks about how much he likes the Foo Fighters. Not a fan either, you know? I'm not really a big fan of WVH, though, Mammoth. But there is a couple songs, I would say three songs, that are awesome from those albums. You know, I just wish, well, I don't know. I don't know if it would make him any better or any more famous. Because a lot of that stuff he plays is contemporary stuff, which he'd have a better chance on you know, scoring hits with those songs and the songs I like because I'm an old geezer and I like songs that rock and songs that rock uh, aren't good today as far as trying to get popular. 
And hey, it's been mighty quiet on the Sammy Hagar block after he, uh, you know, a couple things uh, came out really bad about this this uh, Van, uh, this Sammy Hagar tribute Van Halen thing going on. Is that two things happen that, man, I'm sure it's the main reason you're here from Sammy now, is trying to do damage control by keeping his stupid mouth shut, like him forcing on Howard Stern and telling, uh, you know, Joe play some Eddie Van Halen stuff, and, and Joe wasn't ready. He didn't practice it enough, and it sucked. And then on top of that, he invited Dave Lee Roth uh, to come up on stage, and Dave said, all right, I'll do it. And Sammy said, oh, no, fuck that. No, 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 no. You know, I mean a show or two, not a whole tour. Well, Dave didn't say a whole tour. Maybe Dave meant a show or two. And you wouldn't want that, Sammy. You wouldn't want Sammy, uh, David Lee Roth on the stage. The same reason Kiss didn't want Ace Frehley and Peter Chris on the stage because they saw what happened at the unplugged session and it screwed everything up. They had a, you know, I mean, well, it made them, you know, reunite, but it screwed up the whole Revenge Carnival of Souls lineup that really wasn't doing well anyway. And that's when Kiss went full throttle with, with the money-hungry stuff. And, you know, that's the same thing uh, with Sammy. Sammy would not want Dave on the stage because he knows. Even as cringy as Dave Lee Roth is now, he's like a creepy uncle, he'll still upstage Sammy because Sammy sucks. And, you know, I never liked his voice. I never have. And I've heard, like, you know, recent audio of him singing and yeah it's to be expected he's an old fuck his voice is nowhere near as strong as it used to be and it's kind of like for me it's a little better now that it sucks a little more and it ain't as powerful as it used to be because the way his voice was so powerful back then was like nails on a chalkboard i freaking hate his vocals and you know i'm not a big fan of his vocals now that are weaker but i'll take it over the stronger sammy but hey, Wolfie approved that tour as well. And he recently reconnected with Michael Anthony in, uh, in Las Vegas. And he uh, said, man, it's been a long time. It was great seeing Michael and, you know, great knowing that Michael is happily married to Hammy Sagar. And, you know, there you go. Wolfgang is uh, very neutral in a lot of stuff. And, you know, I'm sure he does like the Sammy era. You know, I'm not saying he doesn't, but... I have a feeling he prefers the raw stuff much more. So Wolfie likes Sammy. All right. I have a difference of opinion when it comes to Sammy Hagar. I mean, to me, it's like, what's the difference between Sammy Hagar and a wife after six years? Sammy Hagar will still suck. You know what I mean? You know, Sammy Hagar wishes he can suck for one day because sucking every day sucks. You know, what has two arms, ten fingers, two legs, ten toes, and sucks? You know the answer to that. But hey, Wolfgang likes them. So there you go. Uh, and there's a lot of Sammy Hagar fans out there that like them, that are really cool and respectful. And then there's Sammy Hagar fans that get so upset with my hatred towards Sammy Hagar that, they, that they're funny. It's like, you know, oh... Eddie, Eddie, as long as Eddie Van Halen's there, it's Van Halen. I disagree. It's two different bands, 100% two different bands. And it's drastically different. Where, God, you know, it's like, man, it's easy to understand. If you love classic Van Halen with David Lee Roth, it's easy to understand you cannot move into the, you know, crappy lyrics and just crappy songs that they did with Sammy. It's just impossible for people that like the six pack. I'm not saying everybody, but people like me that like that raunchy rock and roll, you know, instead of, you know, this phony love song band where both Eddie and Sammy were cheating on their wives, sing, uh, writing songs about, I love you, baby. And you're the only one and stuff like that. But whatever, Wolfgang likes them. So anyway, thank you so much for watching The Only News That Matters. And leave your comments below. You love Sammy? You hate Sammy? It's all welcome. Unless you are disrespectful, 
Because if you are disrespectful, I will make you disappear and make you my bitch. Just remember that. And hey, please subscribe to my channel if you have not. And ring that little notification bell. And like the video. It's good for the YouTube aneurysms. So stay frosty. Listen to Black Sabbath. And smack them a gob. Farewell and adieu to you fair Spanish ladies. Farewell and adieu to you ladies of Spain. For we've received orders for to sail back to Boston. And so never more shall we see you again. <laughs>